Another huge undermountain missile site of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard, IRGC, is a vast site in the northwest of Iran, near the city of Tabriz. This site, which has six wide and hardened entrances, is located at the foot of a mountain range with a height of 250 meters and length of at least one kilometer. A simple straight line between the northern and southern entrances is considered. Highly likely tunnels are longer. In this missile hot spot, one can undoubtedly expect a lot of stored ballistic missiles as well as missiles mounted on transporter erector launchers and ready to fire. Since this site is very close to the western borders of Iran, it will be among the Iran's many missile sites that will be able to carry out extensive and intense operations against NATO bases in Turkey, Greece, Eastern and Central Europe using a variety of solid and liquid fuel missiles. Therefore, it can be expected that Tabriz site contains a lot of medium-range missiles, such as Zulfikar and Desfil, as well as long-range ballistic missiles, including Sedjil and especially Koramshar, having a range of about 4,000 kilometers with a 500 to 700 kilograms high-explosive RDX warhead. This huge missile city is located in the heart of wide mountain ranges, and the entrances to the site are arranged from different points. Therefore, it can be said that the site has interconnected and complex internal structures and can undoubtedly host several thousand ballistic missiles. In general, more missiles are likely stored in missile sites located in cold regions, because one of the factors that prevent the aging and deterioration of solid fuel missiles is the decrease in temperature, and since in northwest part of Iran temperatures can be several months several degrees below zero so missiles can have a longer life of over 20 years or even 30 years. If other solid fuel missile construction and storage parameters are properly met. As usual, a football field and a large number of buildings can be seen outside the site, indicating the presence of a large number of IRGC aerospace employees on the site. With such huge sites near the borders of Iran, one should witness a terrible and heavy attack by the Revolutionary Guards. In any war, initial heavy attacks are decisive and since Iran has the required warfares in a staggering number, it can easily cut the attacker's spinal cord, which will be decisive for the continuation of the war with Iran. Thanks for your attention and see you next time.